So this is a sample of the boards that were in place for probably over a good 10 years. Um, and as you can see, they're, they're quite cluttered. Um, the fact that there's two is also somewhat confusing. Um, and they just don't provide consistent information. So if a nurse is going from one room to another, um, not always will the same information be on the boards because they are quite open and customizable. And that was one of our reasons of going to something more consistent so that in a consistent location, both clearly visible to the patients and staff members, they would be able to find information um, to provide safe and um, client-centered care to our patients here. So with the boards, we've allowed um, them to become a better communication tool for both the patients here on our program or the staff members as well. Um, we've got the room number identified, so if they're ever talking um, with family members or visitors, they can clearly let them know what room they're staying in. We've got the date here, um, that provides a great source of orientation for what the date is and the day of the week, as well as who their nurse is and their therapists. Across from the therapist, we've got their actual therapy times for the day that get updated by our staff members, um, as well as their social worker and any appointments that they might have um, get added in here. We've got a section here where we can identify any precautions that um, someone may have, and they're very customizable. So hip precautions are often something uh, our patient population has, but sometimes there might be issues with swallowing or no straws. Um, or fluid restrictions, so those can easily get put in there. We've identified the discharge date as well very clearly um, for patients and team members to be able to see and update as needed, as well as sort of an open area here that um, is sort of anything can be put in there, um, as you can see, well wishes to grandma. And over here we have a significant amount of information in regards to a person's safety. So how is a person transferring? How are they doing getting in and out of bed or in and out of their wheelchair? Um, are they independent? Do they need someone supervising? Do they need hands-on assistance or a mechanical lift? As well as what kind of a mobility aid are they using? Is it a rollator? Do they need um, a two-wheeled or a four-wheeled walker? Is it a standard walker or a wheelchair? Or perhaps some other specific specialized mobility device? And then how is this person walking? Are they independent? Do they need some supervision? Do they need some hands-on assistance? Um, or are they not able to walk at all? And then in regards to their functional abilities, how are they managing with their ability to wash and dress and um, provide their basic care for themselves at their bedside? So the thing I like about the boards, they're more visible to the patients. Where they are now, the patients and the family can see them where they were before. They were hidden behind the drapes. And now you can check your times, see what you're up to, remind you of the discharge date. And for the staff coming on, it's very important because just at a, at a glimpse coming in, right? We can immediately see for safety reasons how someone transfers. And, and the immediacy of the patient care is there because we don't have to run around and find out how somebody's moving. We've got it right there. When somebody calls and needs us, we can answer their needs immediately. And that's the most important thing.